third film was made by a group at a special school. They want to tell you what life is like when you can only see partially, when you've got a visual handicap. It's very difficult for us to see the numbers on the front of a bus. So we have to stop each one and ask. But the conductors sometimes get very angry. What bus is this? Waiting on, can you not see on the front? I know what's no. it say though. Waiting on, where do you want to go? We want to go to Lancaster. No, it's a oh, waiting at 140. One. What number 140. is this? 140, you go to Lancaster. Yeah, okay. okay. We've made this film so that you can understand our difficulties better than that conductor has. This is a school we go to. It's a special school for partially sighted children. It's a boarding school because we come from all over North England and Wales. Originally, the buildings were for completely blind people. Even now, people still call it the blind home. We don't like that because we're not blind. Because of our eye problems, we would have difficulties in an ordinary school, especially with reading. Here, we get special attention. There are many different kinds of partial sight. Some of us wear glasses, but for others, even the strongest lenses don't help at all. With some of us, our eyes never remain steady. And exactly what the eyes see, no one can be certain about. If you've got normal sight, this is how you see a car. Now we're going to show you some of the ways that we see that car. You can see we've got our problems, haven't we? There are about two and a half thousand of us in this country in 20 special schools. There could be many more children in ordinary schools whose handicap hasn't been discovered yet. I was at an ordinary school until I was 14 and I was beginning to drop behind and become a dunce. Well, they thought I was a dunce and I began to believe them. I didn't know I was partially sighted and they didn't know, so that didn't help very much. Because I was so slow, they didn't let me play games like I do here. In my old school, they knew I had poor sight. <laughs> so they didn't let me do any science because they said it was dangerous. <laughs> At this school, they've let me prove that I can. My ordinary school knew about me too and never let me near a sewing machine, but it's different here. We've even surprised ourselves by what we can do. Just think what it's like to jump like this when you can't see clearly. Some things are still difficult for some of us. Although we are doing all these normal activities in school, we still have our problems when we're outside and people don't always understand. When I'm out buying sweets, I can't see them unless I get up close and then people think I'm just going to pinch them. Now, boys, what are you doing? Looking for the price. Oh, that's all right, then. Once I was wondering what the time was, and I couldn't see the clock. It was near me. Excuse me, please, could you tell me the time? There's a clock up there. It's big enough. Can you see it or something? Oh, sorry, I couldn't see it. What do you mean you couldn't see it? Well, I'm partially sighted. Well, where's your white stick of your blind dog, then? Well, um, we don't want to wear them. Why? Because we don't want to show it, tell everybody that we're partially sighted. Oh, We'd I rather see. just be treated as normal people. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, son. It's, 
advert 10 past 12. Right, thank you very much. This is what often happens to people like me with partial sight, and it sometimes gets a bit, a bit embarrassing because people don't realise and don't understand about the problems. But when people understand, it's all right. And this is what we're trying to put over to you, what partially sighted means. And maybe you'll understand once you've seen this programme. People can sometimes be too fussy and try to be too helpful and won't believe that you can do something on your own. Come on, dear, I'll take you across the road. No, it's all right, I well, can manage. Well, you're from the blind home, aren't you? I'd be better taking you. No, it's quite all right, I can manage, you know. That's fine, come along, dear. What I hate is when people come up to me and say, why do your eyes wobble like that? Or people saying, why don't you look at me straight? I hate local people saying, you go to that blind school. I hate people saying, why don't you wear your glasses if you can't see? I hate people saying when they find out I'm personally sighted. Oh, what a shame. Worst of all, I hate people saying, you can't do this, you mustn't do that, it's dangerous, you might hurt yourself. Many people would think working with machines was too difficult for us. But accidents are likely to happen through carelessness and not poor sight. It's difficult getting a job when we leave school. So in our last term, we work in local firms just to prove that we can do things if given the chance. Melvin is training as a chef. Some hotels would take you on, some wouldn't. It would depend on the manager and the type of chef and the type of people you're working with. Some people think he's partly sighted. Oh, no, he, he can't see what he's doing. We don't want him. He'd be cutting himself. But you cut yourself if you're careless. When we apply for a job, we don't say we come from a school for the partially sighted. If we did, the application would probably go straight into the bin. If we get an interview, we then let them know, but try and convince them that we can do the job. Just as people help us, so we like to help others. Here, we're visiting patients in a mental hospital. Oh, uh, uh, not not too, too far. Oh, the big one, look, ah! The big one, eh! Hey. We hope now that you have understood our partial sight problems. But remember, there are still many other forms of handicapped people. What we all want is consideration and understanding for our problems. But we don't want to look and feel as if we're something special. We don't want pity. We just want a fair chance. And remember, we're not blind. And don't expect us to be as good as you are in every way. like to hear from you whether you want more programs like this and what you want to say in them, what you feel strongly about.